the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge is underway with about 40 projects in hundreds of communities across eight states, including Duluth, Minnesota. In Duluth, Medicine Cabinet Cleanout Day offers residents free, safe disposal of unwanted medications. The Earth Healing Initiative has put our local interfaith liaison in touch with Duluth officials. He's Reverend Doug Paulson, a campus pastor at the University of Minnesota Duluth Lutheran Campus Ministry. Medicine Cabinet Cleanout Day in the Duluth, Minnesota area is April 26, 2008. The drive through event runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Western Lake Superior Sanitary District Household Hazardous Waste Facility, 2626 Cortland Street, Duluth. Gina Temple Rhodes, the district's environmental program coordinator, said residents should bring medications in their original containers. Temple Rhodes added that mercury thermometers and medical sharps that are packaged safely in rigid containers will also be accepted free of charge. Two previous collections included Minnesota's first ever medication collection in October 2007. The district collected a total of 591 pounds of unwanted pharmaceuticals from 391 households and that's enough to fill six 55 gallon drums. The district's event coordinator, Susie Darley Hill, said medication is only accepted during special events due to U.S. drug laws. She said if medication must be disposed of during other times, it can be destroyed, sealed, and placed in the garbage. Temple Rhodes said the first collection event really showed us there is a lot of unwanted medication lingering in medicine cabinets all over the Western Lake Superior Sanitary District area. She said residents told us they had been storing the medication for years because they didn't know what else to do with them. This collection event offers an easy, safe answer to the disposal question. Western Lake Superior Sanitary District Executive Director Kurt Soderberg said unwanted medication should not be flushed or poured down the drain. Soderberg said, although many of us were taught to dispose of medicines this way, we now know that flushing them is not a good idea. Soderberg added that wastewater treatment plants were not designed to remove pharmaceutical substances from wastewater. Proper disposal of medication helps protect water quality in the Duluth region. The Duluth event is one of about 40 projects involving hundreds of communities across eight states around the Great Lakes Basin that are participating in the Earth Day 2008 challenge from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The goal of the challenge is collecting and recycling one million tons of electronics, known as e-waste, and the collection of one million pills for proper disposal. The Earth Healing Initiative is assisting the challenge by offering interfaith liaisons who arrange volunteers and encourage members of local churches and temples to participate in the Earth Day related events in their area. The Earth Healing Initiative is also offering media services like this video. I'm Greg Peterson, Earth Healing Initiative TV.